Now let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen where our resident chef Mark's making a mushroom risotto. How are you, Mark? Good. I'm great, thanks guys. Yeah, we're talking mushroom risotto today. Uh, winter's coming, this is a nice creamy rich dinner dish. Uh, we've got mushrooms, so it's full vegetarian. Um, if you're not vegetarian, you know, stick some chicken in there as well if you like. Right, so the key thing about risottos is you need a flavoursome stock, so that is the most important thing. If your stock tastes great, the risotto is going to taste great. So that's where we're going to start. So we've got a little bit of stock in here, and we're just going to warm it up. And then to get a great flavour into this stock, we're going to use these. So we've got dried mushrooms here. So they're really intense, so they've been dried, so really, really intense flavour in those. And we're going to rehydrate them in the stock. So just pop them in, bring it to the boil, and then I'm going to add a little bit of thyme as well, and a little bit of garlic. And then that's just going to give us some flavour. And all that flavour is just going to go into the rice. So we've got this arborio rice here, so it's a little bit different. And we're going to cook it al dente, which basically means in Italian, to the bite. So it's still got some texture in there. You don't want to overcook risotto so it's like a big um, stodgy sort of sloppy mess on the plate. So I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect risotto a little bit later and cook it so it's al dente. And then we've got these beautiful uh, Swiss brown mushrooms as well. And we're going to use some to garnish so we're going to quarter some like that. And that's going to give us some nice texture on top of the risotto. And also I'm going to dice some. So we're just going to do some nice slices and then just a nice rough dice and we're going to roast those off and that's going to go through our risotto. And then any sort of stalks or trimmings like this of uh, the mushrooms which you haven't got, pop them in your stock as well just to get all that extra flavour in there. Right, so come back a little bit later, we'll roast the mushrooms and I'm going to teach you how to cook a perfect risotto. We are making risotto, well we, <laughs> I say we, but I mean you, <laughs> the perfect mushroom risotto. Now I've got a challenge for you, you have to sing all the ingredients, operatic style, okay? <laughs> so you know, if you've got your oil, you go, this is olive oil. No? And we've got some butter. Oh yes, he did it! <laughs> Oh, I'm so impressed. I thought you'd just shut me down on that one. I, know, I don't think the opera singers are very impressed no, over there. <laughs> no, yes, the real opera singers coming up soon. OK, so risotto, a favourite, but quite a complicated make. So talk us through it. Yeah, I think this, you know, I mean, if you, if you overcook it, it's going to be horrible. If you undercook it, it's going to be horrible. Um, but it's quite easy to make at home, but I'm going to show you how. OK, nice. So it's, it's just all about timing and... Um, doing every sort of stage, which I do now, and then you're getting the maximum flavour out of it. And if you stick to this, it's, it's really easy and you'll get the perfect risotto. So I'm going to start off with the onions. So yep. just a little bit of olive oil. Just like to season it just lightly now. Helps bring the flavour out. So I'm going to sweat the onions for a couple of minutes before adding the garlic. OK. What do you think's the most important step when it comes to risotto? Uh, with actually the cooking of it. The cooking of so as we were talking it. about before, so if you look at the grain of rice now, it's right. completely raw, it's yes. small, it's hard, yes. it's, it's, it's just like, mm. yeah, you can see that. As we cook it, it's going to expand because it's taking up all that liquid. And halfway through cooking, you can actually, it sort of, it'll double, even triple in size. But if you look at it and cut it in half, you'll still see a, a really white point in there. OK, nice. And, and that means it's still raw, but it is getting sort of cooked in there. Perfect. And yeah, good tip. Well, we were talking before al dente, so that's to the bite, so we do want some texture in there. OK. Depending on if you're um, Italian or anyone else, the Italians like to eat it very, very al dente, almost bordering too raw. So just be warned if you have a proper Italian, Italian. risotto. <laughs> right, okay. You like to cook it a little bit more, but still, still have that texture. It is important. So garlic's in there. Yep. Right, and then we're just gonna just get that garlic sort of get those aromas coming out. We don't want any colour on this stage, so we want to get bring that nice sort of sweetness and all those aromas out. And then we're just gonna deglaze it with some white wine. Okay, nice. Deglazing? No, I'm not gonna do that. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Don't worry. And then uh, then I'm gonna put the risotto in. Okay. So we have onion with. Put a little bit of salt in. We've got the white wine in. That's it. And and now we're just going to cook that risotto just in that and just evaporate the wine and just cook that risotto in it. And then we're going to add the stock. So we've got the stock over here. So I've just strained it. And then we've got all these uh, mushrooms out here, which are the um, dried mushrooms, which have rehydrated now. So you can just roughly chop those. OK, cool. And then we're going to add them back to the stock. And then we're going to start adding the stock into the risotto. And is the stock the secret to a good risotto, you reckon? Apart from well, yeah. the cooking, right? Well, yeah, exactly. The more flavour you get in this stock, the better flavour you're going to get out in the finished risotto. So if you can sort of see that now, the colour of the risotto, it's, it's almost like muddy water. But not to put you off. But that means flavour. We've got all that mushroom flavour in there. 
and then we'll pop these in as well. And these are little nuggets of flavor and texture as well through the risotto. And you just want to add a little bit of stock in and cook it down. And when it sort of evaporates off, add a little bit more. Okay. And then towards the end of the cooking, you're going to add less and less so you get that perfect texture. I'm just going to fry some um, Swiss browns off now for some garnish. Mm -hmm. So secret here to uh, cooking mushrooms, really, really hot pan. Get the oil hot and then pop them in. You want to see that sizzle? Needs to be hot because mushrooms contain a lot of water and if your pan's not hot, they're just going to leach out all that water. You're not going to get any colour on them and they'll just taste like cardboard. Soggy cardboard. If you know what that tastes like. <laughs> wow, yes. I have eaten a little bit of cardboard in my time. Okay. So just going to add a bit more. We'll just, yep. um, we'll pop these Don't mushrooms do a good job back the in. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Good, very nice. nice. Man, this is smelling incredible here. And you can get the full recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Thank you for all your feedback on the recipes. Um, everyone's enjoying the marks. This is great. That's great. Okay, cool. Right. Right, so we're just going to season it just a little bit. So if your pan goes a little bit dry, you know, feel free to just add a little bit more olive oil if you want. Right, because we don't, don't want them to go to. soggy, do we? No, we don't want them to go soggy, but we want to get a nice colour on there. Okay. Get a nice colour on the uh, mushrooms. Bring it equals flavour as well. Nice work. And how so, many people is this going to serve, you reckon? Uh, probably just you and Mel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's perfect. And some of the audience as well. <laughs> OK, cool. <laughs> and then just got a little bit of time. So if you hold the top of the thyme, mm -hmm. and with your fingers just pull down, sort of releases the leaves. Nice. So pop that in. Thyme and mushrooms, great combination. OK, well... And turn it off. Speaking of thyme, that's it so far. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, that's okay. great. So come back a bit later and I'll show you that risotto. Now let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen with your risotto. Mark, how's it shaping up? It's beautiful. So we're just about cooked now. You can see the grains of rice are nicely puffed up. Secret ingredient, some creme fraiche. Keeps it nice and creamy and ah. keeps it a little bit lighter, but then you can make it really heavy and rich with some more butter. So that's your secret ingredient then, creme fraiche? Yeah. Or you can, uh, you can leave the creme fraiche out and just put extra butter in. Mm. So we're just going to stir that in now, and that's going to give us some richness. Get that back on the heat. <laughs> the healthy fats. Yeah. So there's nothing worse than a really heavy, stodgy risotto. So you want it nice and creamy, and then you just eat a little bit less. I've got some herbs here, so there's some tarragon, there's some parsley, and a little bit of thyme again. We've got these mushrooms which we diced up before. I'm just going to pop them through. So it's just packed full of mushrooms. Give that a good stir. Check your seasoning. And a little bit of lemon juice. Mmm. Oh, pop that on. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. This and then just incredible. some of these roasted mushrooms on top. Anytime. Thanks for the time. Wow. Nice work. Well, I'll tell you what, you can have a go, Mel, yeah, and I'll yeah. wrap the show. Mm. It's really yeah. good. Well done.